today we are setting up monitoring on our Raspberry Pi 4 using Grafana. Now I have made this tutorial the easiest to follow along. All you have to do is run a single docker compose command. Now most tutorials out there will show you how to set up Grafana, but Grafana by itself is just a dashboard view. You need what they call a data source. So if you follow a lot of the other tutorials, you're going to get a dashboard view with nothing in it. So for our metrics like CPU, RAM, disk usage, we're going to set up a Prometheus data source, which is what is typically used for metrics in Grafana. Think of it like a database. And again, that is great, but it's going to still be empty. So you're not going to have any data in your dashboard to show. But don't worry, I've got you covered because we are also going to do a common thing and set up what they call node exporter. So we're gonna have our pretty little dashboards pointing to our Prometheus data source, which captures our metrics, which scrapes our node exporter every 15 seconds to get the CPU, memory, RAM, etc. And I put all of these individual services into their own containers using a single Docker Compose file, which means we just have to run one command. So let's jump into it. To get started, we're gonna to go to the first link I put down in the description, which will link you to my tutorial GitHub page. This is a public repo that anyone can access. If you know how to use Git, go ahead and clone the repo. If you're not familiar, you can click this green button and click download zip. Once that is downloaded, we want to go in and have a look at the file. So we want YouTube, this is number 23, Grafana Prometheus node. What we're gonna do is copy all of these files and put that onto our Raspberry Pi. Before we copy it across, let's have a look at what these files are actually doing. First, we have our Docker Compose file, which tells us which containers we want to spin up. Quickly, at a high level, we've got a node exporter container, a Prometheus container, and a Grafana container. The node exporter is gonna expose itself in port 9100, it's going to do a bunch of required commands to get that up and running so that it can scrape its own metrics. Now Prometheus is going to take the Prometheus image, it is going to add this config file, and it's going to mount a couple of volumes. So basically anything that we put in this Prometheus folder here, it's going to mount to this file path so that it has access to the correct config file to run this command. Same thing with Grafana, it's going to mount a volume and take everything from that Grafana folder that we have and place it in this particular location. We've also gone ahead and set a default username and password that we can use for our Grafana instance. Don't worry, you can change this in the future. You'll notice that Networks is being commented out. When you're using multiple containers, they all have to be on the same bridge network in order for them to communicate. I commented this section out because I found Docker was automatically creating a new network anyway and putting them all into the same network. So it was redundant but I left it in there as a comment just in case you guys run into network connectivity issues, uncomment it and it should work. Now let's take a look at these config files. So in here we are setting up some config specific for Prometheus. All of this is default. The bit that we added was this node exporter job. Essentially what it's going to do is scrape our node exporter by default every 15 seconds on this particular target. Fun fact, because Prometheus is running within its own container, it can access localhost. But because our node exporter job is running in a separate container, we can't use localhost. Instead, we have to use this host.docker.internal target. Thank you to Stack Overflow because that took me longer than I would have liked to figure out. Onto the Grafana config. Now you can specify a ton of different config here. All I've done is set the Prometheus data source. So when we spin up Grafana, It'll automatically have Prometheus in there. We don't have to add anything and Prometheus will automatically be scraping the metrics. So let's go ahead and start it up. Let's remote into our Raspberry Pi. We're going to go ahead and create a new folder and call it monitoring. Go into the folder and we want to copy and paste those files. Oh. It's not letting me copy and paste across to my Raspberry Pi, so I'm just gonna quickly do it manually. Okay, now that we've got the required files on there, we're gonna open up a terminal window. We're gonna to navigate to our monitoring directory and we're gonna run docker compose up minus D. 
This is going to go ahead and create those three containers for us. So our Grafana, our Prometheus and our Node Exporter. Once that's started up, we're going to open up a web browser and check a couple of things. First, we're going to check on our Node Exporter. We're going to type in localhost colon 9100 slash metrics. This should load a page like this with a ton of different metrics reporting out. That tells us node exporter is up and running correctly. After that, we want to check our Prometheus endpoint. So we're going to do the same, but this time we are going to go to localhost and this is on port 9090. You should see a page looking like this, which tells us Prometheus is up and running. We're going to take a look and make sure the jobs can connect to the data sources that they need as well. We're going to go ahead and click on status targets. And we're just going to make sure that both of these are up and reporting green, which they are. Now for the final piece of the puzzle, we can head over to our Grafana instance. So if we type in localhost port 3000, you should be greeted with the login page like this. Now, something to keep in mind, it took a good five or 10 minutes for this to pop up for me. When I tried this on my Mac, it was instant. However, my Raspberry Pi did take some time. So if you're getting blank, just come back in a couple of minutes. Username was set as admin and password was set as Grafana. My remote desktop is a bit slow, so what I'm going to do is actually access it from my Windows PC. So I can type in my DNS name, home.localport3000, and I'm just going to log in here. Uh, That's a lot better. Now we're going to go to connections, data sources. Remember in the config how we had set that Prometheus data source? Essentially, that just means it automatically pops up here for us and we don't have to do anything. If we head over to the explore tab, we should be able to type node underscore and we'll see a bunch of information that we can report on. If I go last five minutes, uh, maybe let's go CPU. Oh, there we go. And we now have a metric. So all of our metrics are appearing in Grafana, which is great. Now let's grab a dashboard. I'll put a link to this URL in the description down below. Essentially, Grafana have a bunch of pre-published dashboards that you can literally just copy and paste. Because we're using Node Exporter, I'm going to go ahead and use the Node Exporter full one. We're going to go ahead and click Copy ID to Clipboard. We're then going to head back to Grafana, click on Dashboards, create a new dashboard. And what we can do is actually import the dashboard that we copied. So we're going to paste this in here, click load, node exporter full. We're going to select the Prometheus data source, hit import. And we now have our beautiful dashboard up and running. You simply select your time range. So I'm going to go last five minutes. And there you have it. We have our CPU, our RAM, how long we've been up for, you can expand these out for extra detail of disk usage, etc. We also get a bit of network traffic information, which is cool as well. And that's it. We now have Grafana working on our Raspberry Pi, reporting those metrics for us. So to recap, we set up Grafana, we set up Prometheus, and we also set up Node Exporter to get the metrics from our Raspberry Pi into our pretty little dashboards. In this tutorial, we only set up Prometheus, which gives us metrics, because that's all I really care about, the CPU, the mem memory network, etc. If you have a use case where you want to also capture logs and metrics, you're going to have to set up Loki, which means spinning up another container, and the same with Tempo. You would then modify your config file exactly like we did for Prometheus, where you would configure the data source to be Loki and also Tempo, so logs, traces, metrics. I didn't touch on that for this tutorial because I wanted this to be as simple as possible. Just one command that you have to run, docker compose up minus D. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll catch you in the next video.